Hey guys, Tyler here, your Puzzle Master Insider. Today I'll be giving you an inside look at four brand new Burr puzzles from Czechoslovakian company Pelican. Seeing as this is my first video on any Pelican puzzles, I'll start today with a, a bit of a history lesson on Pelican, what they do and, and how they operate. So Pelican makes wooden Burr puzzles. They make high-end wooden Burr puzzles. I talked to Alan Stein, the Puzzle Master, and he said that there is no other company that really compares to what they do. Everything's really tight, really well made, and made with exotic looking and exotic feeling woods. The, the One of the most amazing things he said is that they are shipping these puzzles, these wood puzzles, to Canada from Czechoslovakia. And it's amazing that they can do such tight moves and not have to worry about expansion of the wood or things like that. And it all moves perfectly here, just as it would over in Czechoslovakia. So just high end, really well made and actually often very difficult puzzles. Um, you won't find them anywhere else uh, because Pelican uh, makes their puzzles, they sell them and my understanding is that Puzzle Master is the only other distributor of this brand of, of puzzle, of Burr puzzle. And on the bottom of each of their puzzles or somewhere on their puzzles, they have uh, this. So Pelican the name and then they have 39 or 60 on this one meaning that there's 60 of these created and this is the 39th one in that line so uh, everything's very limited runs small amounts and uh, they once I uh, once a run is done they don't make it again is my understanding so fantastic stuff get them while you can because these are very interesting and something you won't find anywhere else so we'll start with the Apollo again this is by Pelican the designer of, of Apollo is Osanori Yamamoto. It's made out of jatoba and cherry wood, and the cherry would be the inner orange or, or red colored wood, and the jatoba is the outside and makes up that frame. Like I showed you earlier, this is number 39 of 60 from Pelican. Now their difficulty on these, all, all four of these actually, as I shoot this video, because these are so new, there is no Puzzle Master difficulty rating on these right now. Uh, when the video comes out, there may be something on the site. But uh, for now, I'll, I'll just kind of explain how difficult these are with the amount of moves it takes. And Pelican tells you that on their site. But uh, the moves are expressed in a, a number with the decimal places. So the Apollo is actually a 17.5.5. Meaning, it's 17 moves to get that first piece off. 5 moves to get the second piece off. And another 5 moves to get that third piece off. So it takes uh, 27 moves to get the puzzle apart. And then obviously 27 moves done in reverse to get the puzzle back together. So in total, this would be 54 moves. Now the Apollo consists of three inner pieces, that, the ones made out of cherry, and a, and a fourth piece, that outer frame. The frame is all one piece. And I'll show you today a bit of how this puzzle moves. I don't want to go too far because uh, these are actually very difficult puzzles and uh, we don't have a solution so I, I was told specifically not to take it apart but uh, I, I can show you some of how the pieces in here move and it, like I said before it's it's just all really tight uh, nothing nothing moves really easy and they actually have all the four here this is probably the one that moves the easiest of them but still uh, very tight very, very awesome moves and you can kind of see that uh, it makes up this figure eight pattern at the start. But um, yeah, so there's there's a picture from the Pelican site that is right, uh, I'll cut to right now, that shows you the, the puzzle apart. Next, I'll show you the mini lock by Pelican. It's easily the smallest of the four puzzles I'm showing you today, and is designed by Christoph Lohi. It's made out of ash and purple heart, the ash being that outer frame and the purple heart making up the inner three pieces that include this top lock arm. This puzzle can be used as a lock, and uh, which is interesting, something that um, maybe wouldn't be the most secure, but it's just a fun thing to, to take a look at or have hanging somewhere. And it's, its moves are expressed, or the moves needed to take it apart are expressed in that decimal place again. And this one is 6.7, so meaning there's 13 moves to take it apart and 13 moves to put it back together. So totaling 26 moves start to finish. It's three pieces, like I said, and that frame. And I'll show you a bit of the moves here. So this uh, top lock arm comes up and then some of these pieces in here, these two, they move in and out like that. 
and then you'll notice this top lock arm kind of slides around with the other pieces and uh, I'll try not to take it apart again just because like I said pelican puzzles are notoriously difficult and uh, to do so I don't want to uh, take it apart as we don't have the solution to these but you can see kind of how how it moves and again everything is just really tight well made and and looks so cool especially with the different types of wood I like the contrast in this one and the wood grain that they show the color it's, it's just awesome and, and something little actually this is a puzzle you could take with you on a, on a plane just chuck in your pocket and and play around with as you're uh, as you're sitting waiting for for uh, your plane to land or something or go on a trip whatever that is but a really awesome puzzle from Pelican. So I'll cut to a picture here of the mini lock apart just so you can get an idea of what the three pieces inside look and when they're outside of the frame. The third puzzle I'll be showing you today is the Neo Saturn by Pelican. Now this puzzle is named the Saturn I can only imagine because it looks like the planet Saturn has a ring around an inner, uh, inner piece here. It's from designer Osanori Yamamoto, and it's made from wedge, which is actually this really dark uh, wood on the inside with a really cool grain through it. That's wedge. There's paduk, which is, or padayuk, which is that red wood on the inside. And it actually makes uh, two circular pieces on the inside of that, that part. And then there's the acacia wood, which is this white, uh, wood around the outside and again like the lock there's the purple heart on the corners overall just making for probably the most visually stunning of the four puzzles I'm showing you today it looks so good and uh, really fantastic design and its moves again are expressed in that decimal place so this is probably the hardest of the four I'm showing you today and this one's a 30.10.12.4 so I'm totaling uh, 56 moves to get it apart. And then 56 moves obviously to put it back together. And it says that rotation is required in this puzzle. Now, this one actually is probably the tightest of the four puzzles. And I'll show you a bit. You can see there's a piece here that slides out. There's another piece here beside it that slides out. And you can see there's a little bit of a gap here and it actually comes out fairly far. And then you can move that and these pieces will all rotate around like this. And so you can see it kind of comes apart and this one has uh, pretty big pieces, probably the biggest of the, the four I'm showing you today. But uh, I don't want to take it too far because again, we don't have solutions for all of these and they are, this one's very difficult, so exceptionally difficult. And uh, it's made up of four pieces and the frame. And you'll see again a picture from Pelican's website of what that looks like apart. This is the Aqua Toto by Pelican from designer Osanori Yamamoto. It's made from Wenge, which like the Neo Saturn makes up that inner kind of really cool looking dark uh, wood that makes the inner parts. There is ash, which is the outside frame here, and there's two frame pieces, and that's the ash right there. And then my personal favorite wood to say is the bubingo, which is this, this orangey red wood that is in the corners of the frame. This puzzle's moves are expressed again in that decimal point, and it's 18.7.2, and again with rotation required. There are two frame pieces and two wedge pieces or inner pieces. So the, the two frames are this outer outer part and the uh, inside with this uh, wedge piece. Now I'll show you a bit of how the puzzle moves here. And it's a little different than the others in that the frame kind of goes apart into two pieces here. And there's two inner pieces that move around in that frame. And it, when I move them around here, you can see that, that mark again from Pelican saying this is number 56 of 60 and uh, really awesome, really tight moves again. A little more free moving than some of the other ones maybe, but uh, an awesome puzzle all the same. And it is there right back to the start. 
And now here again is a picture of the Puzzle Apart from the Pelican website. All four of these bird puzzles from Pelican are available at puzzlemaster.ca. That wraps up today's video. Make sure to subscribe to the Puzzle Master YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching and I hope that you have a very puzzling week.